And when you say perfect man, it mean he's a perfect man. Due to the length of Christian Prince's great videos, Even the Quran confirms, I have to break them up into pieces. Angels, they come down to I believe this is part sex. four of this called and Muhammad he, was a one. God or Allah? Question mark. And, those are and the bar of Canada is playing in the background. And they have sex with who? Anyone knows? Sex with who? Harut and Marut? Guess with who? With the women, her name is Az-Zuhra. az, -Zuhra. az -Zuhra in Arabic is equal to Venus. And then she asked them, if you want to sleep with me, you have to drink wine, you have to kill a boy, and you have to kill me, give me the secret words. <coughs> and then when Allah he heard that they gave her the secret word to go to heaven, and she was flying to heaven, Allah, he cursed her and he made her Venus. And you are telling me about Islam, when all your religion is a fairy tale story and you have no God. In your Quran, my friend, he raised people from death. Now you tell me how someone he gets tired and he is hungry, he can say to the dead man, rose from the grave and he's alive. This is the one who eat, as you say. He make from the mud a fashion of a human or, or a bird, and then he breathe into it. You see, he did not ask Allah to breathe for him. He breathed. And then the bird is living creature. It is the Quran. I know what you will say to me. You will say that Allah, he gave him permission. You know what? This is a very stupid answer. First of all, you have no proof that Allah can give you permission or not, because as an example, did Allah give me permission to expose him here? No way. Allah have no permission in anything. Secondly, if Allah gave Jesus the permission to be a creator, that will not change any fact that he became a creator. But telling me that Jesus in the Quran, he can raise people from death. So, that's not. Death. It doesn't matter who is the dead one. A second ago, everybody heard you saying that you must then believe that when a prophet he died, he will be living in the grave. What's the point of being alive in the grave? Listen to Michael Jackson's songs? What do you mean he is living in the grave? That is the most stupid answer ever I heard. He's dead. Either he's dead or he's alive. And listen, you are trying to avoid my question to you. The hadith I gave you, it says that Allah will place the, 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 the prayer of the Muslims in front of Muhammad. He will what? The prayer of the Muslims in front of Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? Why Allah will place the prayer of the Muslims in the front of Muhammad? Especially he is dead. He must be God. Same time. Regarding what you say about Muhammad was like the Quran says everyone will die. He was here. But you see, the Quran have a story too. Is if Muhammad fabricated verses, cut his artery. So what? Allah will cut his artery. What we see in the Quran and in the Hadith, Muhammad he says in the Hadith that his artery is cut off. Let me pause the hate again for you. Do you see it? So, how this happened? Allah He said, if Muhammad is fabricated verses, we are going to size him and to cut his order. And then we find that Muhammad saying, that he died because of poison and cutting his altar. And guys, listen what this guy he said. He said the prophet did not die because of poison. Did he say that? 
People, did he say that? Did you hear him saying that? He is accusing his prophet to be a false prophet. How we know that? Because if Muhammad, he claimed to be a prophet, and anything he say is from God, and then he say he is dying because of poison, that means Muhammad is a false prophet. He's, he's, he's given false information. He do not know how he died. This Abdul here, who never met Muhammad, who never saw Muhammad, he know how Muhammad died, but Muhammad himself, who say, I die because of poison, he do not know. Dr. Ahmad Shia, whatever his name, he, he know how Muhammad died. Good Muhammad. Muhammad, you are not in the truth. Muhammad, you are a liar. Oh, you know what? I have a different hadith for you. Better fit with this. Do you guys remember the hadith where a man, he came to Muhammad and he said to him, My brother, Billy, is hurting. And Muhammad, he says, Asqihi Asal, make him drink honey. And then the guy he came to him second time and Muhammad said to him, give him honey. Third time, give him money. Fourth time, Muhammad get angry. And the guy keeps saying, my, my brother's stomach keep hurting him. So what Muhammad he said? Your brother Billy is lying. And Allah, he told the truth. So Muhammad, he making a very clear statement here. That even when he described a pain in the belly, it's not his knowledge. It's the knowledge of Allah. Your brother's stomach is lying and Allah told the truth. So when Muhammad he speak about what is inside the stomach of someone, Allah is telling him. This is why he say, your stomach, your brother's stomach is lying and Allah is telling the truth. And then, put the hadith in front of you. Thank you, Ustadat, for Neo, for posting it. And that means, Muhammad, he claimed that anything he say, even about disease, even about pain in the stomach, is coming from Allah. So how dare you to say to me that Muhammad did not die because of poison when he is saying so? Obviously, you are accusing your prophet to be a liar. You're mine. <clears throat> so you're saying a bunch of lies right now. That it's not even funny. All your arguments. Do you realize all your arguments have been refuted by answering Christianity? <laughs> and why are you going off way off topic? All these old arguments that have been refuted by the website answering Christianity that destroyed all of your apologetics or Christian critics of Islam. They destroyed all of them. Mm -hmm. They destroyed all of them. So I, I, I just don't know why you keep going back to these old arguments. Like, I'm not no dummy. I've been in the debate game for a few years now. But anyway, we're going to talk about, uh, you said Jesus can parade things. And is that, and does that make a God? You have to also remember this. That's Prophet Solomon. Allah gave him the ability to control the jinn. Did you know that? So does that make Solomon God? No. Now, the Christian Prince, um, you talk about, you have a lot to talk about, about like Prophet Muhammad and these old arguments that have been refuted. <laughs> what I want to know is, you're still not answering my question. How can you expect Jesus Christ to save you when he could not save himself? And also, I want. No, just before I give you the mic. How are you going to believe in a man who created the original sin, then set himself down for the original sin, to kill himself for the original sin? Answer that, please. Thank you. I give it to you. Uh, listen, uh, Ahmed, I'm very glad that everything I said is refuted. Sorry. However, nobody refuted me ever. 
And the guy you are saying go to his website, he said clearly that whoever this is gonna have to be magic is real, is an idiot, and he is a liar. Uh, well, yeah. And that means.